Hi friends, I am Dr. Sakir. Today I am going to make a variable DC power supply or a bench DC power supply. As you know, the main part of this project is an IC, a variable voltage regulator. This is LM. 350 most of the people prefer the IC LM317 but the difference between these two ICs are this can handle more um, more ampere the LM317 can deliver up to 1.5 ampere of current but this can handle more than 3 amperes or approximately 3 amperes it depends on the circuit you design the other IC which can be used is LM338 it has a TO3 style package this is TO220 package these are the components which I will use for this project it need a mighty a powerful electrolytic capacitor here I will use a 4700 MF capacitor above 50 volt you can use any voltage minimum it need 25 volt because I will connect this transformer. This is 18018 transformer, step down transformer, 2 ampere. If you use this uh, voltage regulator IC, this is LM350. You need a very good heat sink because during this process it dissipates a lot of heat energy. So for its this IC LM350 has got an internal mechanism of limiting the current and thermal shutdown. So to get a unfluctuated or a continuous power supply current you need a very good heat sink don't forget that these are the other components a 5 kilo ohm variable resistor battery connectors on off toggle switch Here I use two resistors in series at the output set level. Sorry, at the adjusting pin. This is for the bridge rectifier, a high amperage diode, and you can use a low ampere, for example, 1 and 4007 for protection of the IC. This is the voltage regulator, variable voltage regulator LM338 it has a TO3 style package this is LM the famous IC the popular 
L M three one seven. This T O twenty two style package. This is L M three three nine. You can use the power transistor 3055 2 and 3055 at the output section of the variable DC power supply to boost or to amplify the current of the device because some of the amperage is swallowed by the variable voltage regulator like LM317, LM3Y0 etc. So you can use this famous mighty power transistor 2 and 3055 at the output level of the power supply but it will cause a lot of it will release a lot of heat so it need a very good voltage sorry a heat sink this is LM317 in TO3 package when you solder very special devices like this variable voltage to glider LM338 and the other transistors you can use a tweezers or a device like this or the over this pin like this to dissipate the soldering heat also you can dissipate or divert the leakage current of the soldering iron and the heat so that you can avoid Intelligently, you can avoid the damage caused by the heat produced by the soldering end because these all transistors are very sensitive. Even some friction when you handle the it with friction, the pins with your fingers, it can damage the emitter collector base junction due to static electricity. So when you handle the transistors, any kind of transistors, be careful to handle or be careful don't to touch the pins or you can generally touch the pins the legs of the transistor the frictional current the static electricity will it can damage the valuable costly transistor to know the output voltage of the variable power bench power supply you can use a digital voltmeter this costs approximately 200 Indian rupees you can place a voltage a voltmeter digital voltmeter assembled voltmeter like this to know the exact amount of the output voltage and I will assemble all these components inside this plastic box this is the soldered circuit board This is the uh, completed bench power supply, DC power supply. You can see the LED display showing the voltage level. I can increase and decrease the level with the help of this potentiometer knob.
I have hooked a have connected a solar panel as a sunset time so it can produce up to 10 volt of power the GBL LED strips are working perfectly this is the back side of the bench DC power supply let's see the inside of this device it's very cheap and economical very simple but effective method of DC variable DC power supply for your lab or workshop these are the DC bench supply I have recently made here you can see three devices with different circuit configuration this has a cooling fan connected and a heavy heat sink and the regulator variable regulator IC is this LM350 which can handle up to 3 ampere of current and this one it has LM350 with a current boosting you can see 2N3055 inside it must have a heat sink for proper working you can see that its body is the collector and the to solder the that terminal to the body and the TO3 pack is it must be very properly carefully mounted to the heat sink otherwise it will short you have to use mica washers and uh, screw washers to avoid short with the collector and the heat sink And this has got a LED display you can see for the two I have connected a simple cheap Chinese multimeter as voltmeter with the help of zip ties you can see here this third one which I made yesterday for a change in this bench supply I have included battery pack inside see you can see so I can tap up to 40 volt out of this battery packs each cell is 4 volt see lead acid battery see I can vary the voltage according to the needs this um, bench supply contain this connected with the IC LM317 and at the output section a current amplifier 2N3055 see how it works Now the voltage is 3 volt. As I turn the knob, you can see the voltage increases. Now 
now the volt is 6 volt I will again I will increase it Thank <laughs> you. 